Hi there, my name is Brian and I'm part of the marketing team here at Horizon and today I wanted to walk you through how to both create and mint an NFT collection on Token Mint by Horizon. So Token Mint is our quick and easy token launch for anyone platform that's both fungible and non-fungible tokens. No developer skills are needed. There's um, custom tokenomics that you can set and the whole process is fully transparent. So let's go ahead and go get started. Step one, you're going to navigate over to your images. For this collection, I'm going to do, um, you know, a seasons collection, fall, spring, summer, and winter. And step one is we need to remove the extension from the end of the file type. So on Mac, that's a two-step process. You remove it in the name, as well as clicking on Get Info, and that'll change it from a JPEG to a document. We'll need to go ahead and do that for each image in our collection. Okay, one more to go here. Then once that is all set, we will need to go in and create a folder for our images here. So we'll do season images and we'll go ahead and drop those four right into there. Once we have our images, we'll then go and navigate over to Pinata. And if you don't have a Pinata account, you need to go ahead and create one for this process. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna upload our seasons images folder. Okay. That'll just take a few moments, especially since we have a few different images in our collection here. And once that um, folder is uploaded, we'll go ahead and get a unique CID, which we'll need for the next step of the process. So next we're gonna navigate over to GitHub, where we have provided you some sample metadata folders for this process. Please note the difference here. There are two different file types. There is a metadata file for a single NFT and a metadata file for an NFT collection. So in this instance, we're gonna choose the NFT collection metadata, there's three different sample file files here. We'll click on the first one and we're gonna go in and we're gonna copy this folder and we're gonna go ahead and open that in a text editor, a code editor. You can use any platform here that you choose. I personally like to use Visual Studio Code. So we'll go ahead and we'll open that and we will create a new text file, select the language which will be JSON. Then we're gonna go ahead and paste that metadata file. Now, the next important step is that we need to go back into Pinata and grab that unique CID, the season for the season folder. And we are gonna go back into our text editor and we're gonna go ahead and paste that unique CID right here. Now, one thing to note is we're gonna to have to do this, uh, create this metadata file for every image in the collection. So in this instance, we have four different images. We'll need to create four different metadata files. So one thing to note here is we do need to change the name. So we'll change this to spring, change the value to spring, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna save that file. So that'll be spring meta. Now we're gonna go in and we're gonna copy that file again. We're gonna open up a new text file again. We're gonna set the language as JSON. We're gonna go ahead and paste. And the only thing we need to change here is just the name. The unique CID will stay the same since that's pulling from the image folder from Pinata. So we'll do winter on this one. Next, we're gonna go ahead and save that as winter meta. Again, open up a new text file, set the language to JSON. We're gonna paste. In this instance, we will do summer. And go ahead and save that metadata file again. Summer meta. One more time here, new text file, select the language as 
JSON, paste, and our last one will be fall. All right, so now that that's all set, fall, meadow, we have our four different files. Now we need to hop back into our files here. And importantly, again, we will need to create a folder for all these different JSON metadata files. So we'll call it season metadata folder. And just like we did with the images on the JSON files, we also need to remove the extension. So that's a two step again from get info, making sure we move, remove that dot JSON, which will turn it into a document. So again, we'll need to do that for each file type. So let's go in and do that. Being sure to remove from both instances here if you are on Mac. One more to go here. All righty. Once all of those are renamed, we're also going to go in and we're going to name them accordingly one, two, three, and four, because that's what Pinata needs to reference the files accordingly. So we're going to simply change this to one, two, three, and four. Now that we have all four of our files, we're going to go ahead and drag them into the metadata folder. You can see that they're here. Now we're going to hop back over to Pinata and we need to go ahead and upload that metadata folder. Season metadata folder. Okay, that'll just take a few moments again. Once that has been uploaded, we will again get another unique CID. And importantly, now we'll need to go in and copy that, and it's time to hop, up, hop over to Token Mint. So once we're on Token Mint, we're going to click on Launch App in the top right corner. We're going to make sure that our Cobalt Wallet is connected. If not, you can go ahead and do that in the upper right-hand corner here. We're going to tab over to NFTs, click on Create Collection. So we're going to name our collection name Season. Our symbol will be... Importantly, as noted here, our base URI will be IPFS dot dot slash slash paste that unique CID from Pinata and close with another slash. Our item supply, we have four images here. So we'll go ahead and make that four. We will agree to the terms and conditions and click on confirm. Now we just need to sign the transaction here in Cobalt. And once that is successful, your NFT collection is being created. And this takes a few minutes and you can monitor the status of that in our Token Mint Block Explorer. We can see here that now it is pending. Now that our NFT collection has been confirmed as created, we need to go in and mint our NFT collection to our Cobalt wallet. So one thing to note here as we grab our wallet address from Cobalt, is that we will need to mint this four times because we have four images in our collection. So we'll go ahead and mint the first one. You need to go in and sign the transaction again. The minting process usually takes a few minutes. We just need to wait for this unique UID to be assigned to the individual NFT. Once the unique UID has been assigned, we can go ahead and mint the other images in the collection. So be sure that you are selecting the proper collection. You will mint to your Cobalt address again. So we need to sign it in order to mint. That was our second NFT in our collection. Now we will go in and mint our third image of the collection. Again, we need to sign the transaction each time. Again, we'll see here that the unique UID is pending. 
Now we will go in and mint the last image in our collection. Now we have minted all four of the images in our collection. So the unique UID is once again pending. And once this is confirmed, we will have all four of our NFT images in our collection in our Cobalt wallet. Now that all four of our NFTs have been successfully minted to our Cobalt wallet, we can see the collection here on the Token Mint Block Explorer. We can see, you know, the four different images right here. And if we go directly into our Cobalt wallet to our season collection, we will see all four images within our Cobalt wallet. So if you click on each image, you can send it. You can view it on the Explorer, view the IPFS link, look at the attributes. This was our summer image. Um, so we can see that all four have successfully made it into our Cobalt wallet with the proper attributes, the proper images. And this was how to go ahead and create and mint an NFT collection here on Token Mint by Horizon. I hope that this tutorial helped some of you out. And if you have any additional questions, be sure to reach out to us on our Discord. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.